So for the 22 years I've been on this planet, I can relate every single successful principle I've learned back to fitness and health. But yet, I've never really given it the recognition or priority in my life that it kind of deserves. Like, I feel like I'm like the average person. For instance, who here has ever wanted to be more fit or more healthy than they've been right now? And say, I too. Uh, right? But yet, nobody, or at least not everybody, really makes it a priority in their life. Well, that was at least me. So, you know, my name's Errol Stewart, Business Economics. I'm pretty average when it comes to rock standards, you know. Always have a lot of exams, always have a lot of midterms, but I found myself not really having the time to really do anything extracurricular, in a sense. You know, I, I feel like that's a stupid problem that a lot of rock students have, right? And I found that myself when I made other goals outside school, like, you know, making a YouTube channel or having a blog or even a fitness challenge, you know, getting more fit in the gym. I never really ended up taking to that goal because what happened was exams would get in the way. Parties would get in the way. I like parties though. <laughs> but yeah, all that stuff happened. And what happened was a main thing that happens, my health as a priority would also also be not benefit from that exam busy schedule. So, you know, when exams came around or when my midterms came around or my projects came around, I was kind of looking for the, something that was, you know, fast and filling. So obviously fast food was the go-to option. Actually, in first year, I went on what is called a very prestigious challenge. It's called the McDonald's Challenge. And what the McDonald's Challenge states is that for 22 straight days, I ate a McDonald's menu item. You know, a lot of junior chicks and doubles. It sounds nice to know now. It sounds nice to know, I know. But when I was in first year, it was five star until I swear to you, right? <laughs> so when I was in first year, right, I, I didn't know about the laws of the universe. I really didn't. I was naive in the world, young, foolish, I know. But um, there's laws this universe goes by. And one of these laws is gravity. You know, what goes up must come down. Another law is the law of the compounding effect. And what this states is that whether you make a good choice or a bad choice, that choice turns into a habit, and what that habit does, it, it compounds itself in a few months or a few years later into a good or bad result, depending on what type of choice you made, right? So at the time I was eating all this food, I, you know, it felt good, it felt real good, right? All the drunk nights that I took, okay. But it felt real good, right? <laughs> But uh, you know, when it started compounding, I started seeing the results, it was like night and day. All of a sudden, I, it's like I woke up and I had no energy. It was a struggle to get out of bed, it really was. I couldn't escape the 3 p.m. naps. Uh, after lecture, I just had to get to bed and <laughs> sleep a little. You know, I couldn't escape. I didn't have much energy. My focus was almost like shaky. I couldn't shaky. And my overall just quality of life just went down, right? So, you know, when I noticed I was getting sick more, I didn't have much energy to spend time with my friends, I couldn't even party as hard anymore. You know, I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. I knew I had to make a difference. And that really inspired me to go on a 90-day challenge. Sounds like so much fun, right? 90-day challenge. And it wasn't anything too extreme or anything like that. It was just for the next 90 days, I would just enforce on myself with absolute commitment to some particular habits that would benefit me in 90 days, right? So, you know, I still eat McDonald's, just not as much. I started eating healthier foods, like I saw for the first time in my life broccoli, oh my god, I got used to broccoli. And uh, I went to the gym multiple days of the week. Uh, I tried at least five every time in the gym, and I had a simple goal for myself, and that was to put down 10 pounds of lean muscle and get that six pack back. That was a simple goal I set for myself. Not only did I get that six pack, not only did I get that 10 pounds of lean muscle, but I did that in the first month. And the crazy thing about that challenge was, I was not so excited about the results. Can you believe it, right? I set this, these goals for myself. I wasn't excited about the results. I was excited about the person I was becoming. Oh God, right? <laughs> oh God. I was so excited because the principles that I put on myself, they translate into every single other thing that I was doing in my life. So for instance, I had a pretty busy schedule, so only time I could really wake up was the morning, right? So when I scheduled, well, the morning to wake, wake up and work out, right? So when I scheduled a morning workout with me or a friend, and I had to get up, 
oh my gosh, it was like a fight with myself. See, my feelings said that, Errol, you don't gotta get up right now, because that feeling right, really nice. But my principle, see, my disciplines I put in myself said, you have to get up, you have to. See, my feelings said that I have an exam this week, you know, I really don't wanna take time and work out, but see, my principles, see, my disciplines said that, Errol, you got seven days of the week. If you only have seven days of the week, then this has to be one of the days you have to get up. And what I realized was I figured out one of the laws of the universe. And if you take anything out of the speech, this is all you have to take it in. If you have to write it down, if you're a it, recite it to your friend, this is what I want you to take out, this, out of the speech. <coughs> Do not set goals for the results. Set goals for the person that you'll become in the process. Because the person that you'll become in the process of getting to that goal can achieve higher goals and higher results. It sounds so simple, right? But what's simple to understand is simple not to understand. It can go over your head if you don't catch it, right? For instance, if you set a goal to get an 80% average, and you get it, yes, your life's nice, yes, you might party, but guess what? You're now a person that has the discipline, right? That's the stature, has the character, has the principles to achieve a higher goal of an 85%. Isn't that magical? It, it kind of missed some people, but for instance, if you have a huge goal, maybe you want to start a club, maybe you want to start a foundation, maybe you want to start a clothing line, right? Just understand this concept, right? That the person that can start that clothing line and you, there's a gap between each, between each other, right? And all you gotta do is fill that gap with some principles and some disciplines, and guess what? You close that gap and you're that exact person that you need to be to start that clothing line. <coughs> Isn't that nice? Right? So I figured out this magical, this magical law of the universe, and I got so excited, and then I called up my good friend, Ben Abeke, Brock TV star. Can you stand up, please? Oh my God, so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and I called up Brock Fashion Headquarters, founding member, IT of Barnes. Stand up, please. Okay, okay, I see. And we started this club, Beyond Body, Rock's official fitness accountability club, right? And the idea and philosophy behind this club is we have a, you know, our logo is a sign, it's a proportional to sign and math. And it says that, you know, the change on the outside of your body is proportional to the change on the inside, right? So you only grow on the outside when you grow on the inside. And it's a simple, 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 one, two, three, simple system that can help anybody achieve their goals. And what I realize is that when it comes to goals, you know, all you need is discipline. And for me, that discipline came from fitness. And from fitness, I can assure you that you can learn that discipline to, to, to achieve your goals. So for me, you know, what was the very first step of me hitting that 10 pound very easy goal? And for me, the very first step was just accountability. Because, you know, it was really easy to cancel on myself, like I was an ugly date or something, you know, if I set a goal for myself, but it was really, really hard for me to cancel on my friend if I set a date in the morning. You know, you can cancel one or two times on a friend, but after three times, they kind of, kind of, kind of catch feelings, right? So you really didn't want to, <laughs> you really didn't want to cancel on your friends too much, right? So by starting an accountability club, as soon as you start, you know, being accountable to your friends, a magical thing happens where you start being accountable to yourself. And that discipline and those principles that you get apply to every single other aspect of your life. And whether you have a goal, big or small, beyond body, fitness accountability club, you see my boy Ben, you see my girl at T, oh my god, they're magical. You can talk to you about it and we can help you hit that goal. My name is Earl Stewart, thank you for listening.